Hey everyone, it's Rob at Mr. Robot Shop. Today I'd like to talk about a Toshiba laptop. The model number is a T3200. The original price was $5,800. And the unique thing about this, uh, I believe it was manufactured or produced in 1987-88. Uh, there's a few unique things about it which I think added to the price of it. It was actually a 12 megahertz 286 laptop with a 40 meg hard disk and uh, <clears throat> back in the day a 286 laptop was pretty high end uh, but the fact it had a 40 meg, meg hard disk was actually pretty rare because usually laptops back in those days had uh, if they had any hard disk at all it was maybe like a 20 meg uh, and the other unique thing about this, it actually has a, a red glass plasma screen. And uh, I've never seen a laptop with a plasma display before. So um, those are the few things that stick out. Obviously price, processor power, and uh, hard disk. The other thing that's really unique about it is it's actually got full size uh, ISA expansion slots. So you've got a, a full size and then a, I think they call it a half slot. Um, I didn't want to take the back off because uh, there's a lot of screws to get to it, but the actual cards go inside here. It has a serial parallel port. Here's some dip, dip switches for your settings. Um, I believe this is a monitor port here, which would be like probably for our EGA, CGA, or monochrome monitor. This laptop did not have its own uh, external power supply, it had its power supply built in, so thus adding to the weight. Um, there are no batteries, uh, which back in the day was pretty typical, so uh, I'm going to turn it on here. <clears throat> I purchased this off of um, eBay, and when I received it, uh, the uh, thing didn't work at all, so... I, the guy that shipped it to me had a ton of uh, issues with packing. He didn't. He basically put it in a box and really didn't have anything as far as packing material. So when I opened it up inside, there were a few connectors loose. Um, there's still some noise on the fan side over here. So at some point I'm gonna have to get back in there and figure out what's making that noise. But uh, the flickering that you do see on the screen that's just the. Uh, I'm not seeing it here, so it's just on the camera itself. Uh, let's see, we gotta hit F1. <clears throat> I'm gonna turn this light off a little bit here. But anyways, um, very well built computer. Considering the the beating that it took uh, just to get here, um, the seller did refund all my money, so I ended up with the laptop. And I was gonna just pitch it, but I'm like, eh, I'll crack it open and see see if we can do anything to at least get it functional. Um, the floppy drive's not working, and uh, I think it's the contrast port. The actual switch is inside there, but that's come loose or got jarred loose during shipping. So, but it, the hard drive still works unbelievably. So, usually hard drives of this vintage, uh, actually any computer this vintage, <laughs> if you get anything on the di display, it's usually pretty washed out. Um, the display looks very good right now. Um, keyboards, very good feel. It's a business class keyboard. So there's your hard drive. It's a 40 meg. It's just got DOS, uh, I think, type in version to get the version number. I think it's three point something. No, somebody put six on there. <laughs> so I'm not going to do much other than just put it in my museum upstairs, but I thought I'd share it with you. It's kind of rare that you get to see a laptop that somebody would have actually paid, you know, $5,800 for. But back in the day, uh, compared to some of the other laptops that were probably about two, two and a half times the size of this thing, uh, the screen is beautiful. I mean, it's just a very well-made computer. So, and uh, it's Toshiba. Uh, I don't know if you guys have heard, but Toshiba's running some financial issues now. Uh, so obviously they make uh, more than just computers, although I will say the current Toshiba computers, uh, the quality on those things are just very poor. Um, 
good for my business, but from a consumer point, I wouldn't recommend buying a new Toshiba laptop. The hinge assemblies tend to fall apart because of the brittle plastic inside. Um, they're not well ventilated. Uh, definitely the way this thing's built compared to the way Toshiba's are built nowadays, just uh, there's just no comparison. So, But I thought I'd show that to you. Uh, if you do stumble across one, I would recommend picking it up. Um, they do tend to trend pretty high on eBay right now. Uh, this one, before I got my refund, was about 150 with shipping, but I've seen them go for anywhere from two to four hundred dollars. Um, <clears throat> try to get one with a working hard drive and then working display. Uh, obviously, if they don't work, you have to just you know pay accordingly. But uh, I like the plasma display. It's probably one of the clearest displays that I saw I've ever seen from a computer of this vintage. So, anyways, I appreciate you watching. If you enjoyed it, do a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. You guys have a good day. Take care.